Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com, and today we're taking a look at the Olympus Tough TG810. It's this guy right here, and as the name suggests, it is a tough camera that can handle uh, pretty much anything you can throw at it. It's waterproof, dustproof, crushproof, freezeproof, and uh, well, hopefully dropproof. Apparently, it's dropproof to uh, two meters, or six, about six and a half feet. Uh, you can use it in temperatures as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius, which is uh, 14 Fahrenheit. Uh, it is fully submersible up to de depths of uh, 10 meters or 33 feet. So you're probably not going to be going scuba diving with this thing unless you're, you know, in your very early stages and you're not allowed to go down below 10 meters. Uh, but for snorkeling or, you know, using in the pool, it's perfect. But more to the point, perhaps, is the fact that you can use it uh, at the beach. So sand and dust are, you know, real killers for, um, for digital cameras. Uh, this one, the fact that it's waterproof means it's also dust and sandproof. So you can, you know, you can have it, uh, drop it in the sand, just rinse it off in the, uh, in the water, and uh, you're good to go. So it's a 14 megapixel camera, uh, five times optical zoom. On the back here, we have a three inch hypercrystal display, uh, LCD display. It does a really great job, nice and bright. It's also capable of recording 720p HD video. It has an HDMI out. Now, all of the um, ports and uh, you know, memory card slot and all those kinds of things are hidden behind doors. So this one, you unlock it like this. Uh, move this little switch down. Or did I lock it? Yeah, I locked it. So unlock it like that. Move the uh, flap down, and you see there's a, a rubber gasket here. Access to the memory card slot, the HDMI port, and the, uh, the USB for charging. I might have gotten those two backwards, but uh, you get the point. So then we close this thing up like this, lock it back in place, and now it's uh, fully waterproof. So it also has GPS positioning in it, uh, GPS antennas up here. Uh, that is an option that comes off by default, um, you know, for a couple reasons. One, it um, chews through your battery a lot faster than it would if you were just taking pictures. Uh, perhaps another one is all the recent privacy concerns that are coming, coming out of uh, you know, um, cameras geotagging your photos when you, when you don't, aren't aware that's happening. But it's an option that's there if you want to use it. Now, it's a $400 camera, uh, obviously point and shoot, um, but really kind of like an adventure-y kind of camera. You can, you know, you can have it out in the rain. You can, like, well, as I demonstrated, throw it around, drop it. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to survive. Now, as a $400 camera, a lot of um, Olympus's um, sort of unique uh, sh sh shooting modes and all these kinds of things are actually present in the camera. So you can see here we are in uh, shooting mode right now. We can um, navigate through some of the different modes that are here. So if we go into magic, apparently I'm going the wrong way. There's magic. So select magic. Now we have access to a few different um, camera effects. So we can, it's difficult to do when I'm holding it like this. So we can go up to the uh, different camera modes that are here. You can see fisheye. Obviously, taking a picture of a white gadget stand is not really going to you know, do it uh, full justice. But you can see some of the different modes that are here. Now, some of these modes will work in, uh, when you're recording video as well. Some won't. Um, let's see. The couple will, they'll actually tell you. So it'll say if it's not functional in movie mode. Apparently, sparkle isn't, which really breaks my heart. But you can see here access to some of um, Olympus's um, magic modes. So these are things that typically reside in some of their higher end um, professional style and, and kind of prosumer cameras. So some flash options here. We also have a couple of different uh, macro options which we like to see. So you can uh, LED light, um, super macro, macro, or just turn macro off, timers, uh, exposure value, um, all these kinds of things. So the, you know, if you're kind of uh, a pro style user, you will be able to find some of the functions that you're going to want to use, but this really is, um, it should be considered more in the kind of expensive point and shoot line. You're not really going to be getting in there too much and uh, adjusting those settings. But if we go back up to the top here, you do have some scene modes you can choose from. So we can go in and have a look at some of those. Pretty standard stuff here, but uh, you know, definitely good to have. Now, one more interesting uh, feature is this 3D mode. Um, more and more cameras are, are uh, including this little feature. What it'll generally do is let you take one picture, line up another picture, um, very much like you do a panorama, and then you'll be able to display it on a 3D TV uh, with, you know, via the HDMI out, which we showed you in here. So as a, you know, a tough, durable camera that's going to last you at least, uh, at least several years, 
I like it. 400 bucks, a little dear, but um, you know, at least you know you're not gonna drop it in the pool and, uh, and break it. So that's a quick look at the Olympus Tough TG810. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit butterscotch.com.